If you've invested a lot in your turntable, tone arm, and cartridge, you definitely want to make the most out of it. In these tutorials, I'm going to show you how to make your turntable sound awesome. Hi again, my name is Lauren from Analog Magic. In the last video, I showed you how to do a basic setup of your turntable. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Analog Magic software to fine tune every setup parameter. The software comes with two test LPs. One is a 33 RPM and the other one is a 45. It also comes with a USB license key, which you need to plug into your computer every time you use it. Having a correct turntable speed is essential for accurate final playback. If the speed is too fast, the pitch will be too high, or the opposite would be true if the speed was too slow. The most popular tool for setting up the turntable speed is to use a strobe disc. A strobe disc has two disadvantages, accuracy based upon visual observations, and when the cantilever is landed on the record, the dragging force of the stylus, although very small, will slow the platter down ever so slightly. So, a strobe disc will never totally be accurate. The most accurate method of calibrating turntable speed is to analyze a test tone while the platter is spinning. The Analog Magic software comes with a test tone for 33 RPM and 45 RPM. The test tone is recorded at exactly 3150 Hz. Therefore, simply adjust the speed until the software displays exactly 3150 Hz. Repeat the same process for the 45 RPM test LP and you will achieve the correct playback speed. Now, let's talk about WOW and Flutter. Every turntable will experience some sort of speed variations, which can be caused by a lot of things. For example, a turntable's belt which is too loose or too tight or an idler wheel or rim drive which is exerting too little or too much tension on the platter. To achieve the most accurate vinyl playback, it is desirable to have as little wow and flutter as possible. The Audio Engineering Society standard of measuring wow and flutter requires sampling a test tone of at least 30 seconds. Therefore, please be aware that this measurement will take longer to compute. Now we will look at how to make use of the wow and flutter function. Here is a good example. The pulley on this belt drive turntable is manufactured with a slight imperfection. It is slightly off-centered. Because of this, it is producing an oscillation, resulting in a bad wow and flutter measurement. It also produces a bad vibration measurement, which we will introduce in later tutorials. Here we have the VPI Titan turntable with their famous rim drive. Have you ever wondered how much pressure the rim drive should be exerting on the platter? Or have you wondered how close the motor should be to the platter? Now, with the wow and flutter measurement, you can optimize the rim drive tension or motor distance by choosing the one which yields the lowest possible wow and flutter. The same function is also very useful for determining the optimal distance for turntables with a separate motor. Have you ever wondered how far the motor should be placed away from the turntable? With Analog Magic software, you now have a scientific way to determine the optimal distance. Simply choose the distance which yields the lowest level of wow and flutter. Thank you for watching this tutorial. In the next video, we will talk about setting azimuth. Stay tuned and see you soon!